Yeah, Shalom. Uh, getting back to it. You know, I just put this part two, hasten back to hasten. You know, start us from Zephaniah one and fourteen. I'm gonna I'm gonna read that down. And I'm gonna read, start from fourteen again. The the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath. You see, that's coming. A day of trouble and distress. A day of wasteness. Because I want y'all to know. We want y'all to know. We want to know what's to come. We want to know what's to come. We want to know. You know, people want to say, you know, uh, they want to know what's in store for them in 2021. Ha. Huh. But we got it. The, the, the prophecy got it. This, this is going to, this is a buildup. The Lord's, this ain't a reset and everything get back to normal. No. We got to get up out this captivity, man. And it got to be ill times to happen for the Lord to deliver us up out of it. And that's how it's going to happen according to how it's written in the Bible. Prosperity is not going to happen in America. Destruction is going to happen in America. But also deliverance as well. It says, in desolation, in a, in a day of darkness and gloominess, in a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and the high, against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men. <laughs> you, know, you thought you had problems in the last year? You thought you met, you, you, you know, your, your, your job situation? You thought you had problems uh, uh, losing a job? You thought you had problems looking for a job? You thought you had problems uh, financially? You thought you had problems or uh, not being able to go places? The Most High said he will bring distress upon men. Let's look into that word distress. All right? You're going to be fucked up. You know, real real talk. You're going to be jacked up. And this is why, then the reason why that got to be said is because Jake got to know to run back to the Most High. You're going to be vexed. There's going to be enmity. The Most High is bringing this now. He going to make you out vex. He going to harass. He going to distress. He going to press hard upon you. Thought, you thought you thought the, uh, the weight was hard upon you now? To suffer distress. He going to put more weight upon you. You thought you couldn't bench press 245s? He about to stack 445s on you. You going to need help. So who you going to call? Who going to deliver you? A, a stimulus? What's going to stimulate you in that time? You're going to need the Holy Spirit. The angel is going to need to stand up for you. The hell with all the other crap. The Most High has a way and a style of deliverance for Israel and Jake. And that's the only way we're going to get up out the society. It's through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. By Shem Rakak Through the Holy Spirit. The same way it was done in the book of Acts. The same way it was done for Yahweh He had a man that helped uh, uh, S S Simon from uh, Cyrene. Simon of Cyrene who helped carry the cross. Lord is going to put spirits on you. It's going to be things that's going to lift us up. But you know it's going to be pressed hard upon us. Because guess who else was pressed hard upon? Yahweh You joint is. He suffer, you suffer. He glory, you glory. But guess what we got to go through? The suffering. Yeah, it sucks in the flesh, but guess what? Overall, this place got to go. This flesh is wicked. F this flesh. This flesh has set you back. This, says, this flesh got its own mind frame and its own way of thinking. It has its own glory. It has its own set forth of a kingdom. All right? It has its own outlook on how shit is going to be. It's tap. It, 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 it taps out. But the Lord said, I will bring distress upon men. And Job dealt with distress. Don't think we ain't going to deal with distress. The Lord said they shall persecute you. The Lord said they're going to do this. The Most High said they're going to cast you in the prisons. Don't think you ain't going to. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be tough for myself. For myself. I'm going to need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I'm going to have to call on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It's gonna be real. It's gonna get. It's gonna get real. The air is gonna get thick. And I will bring distress upon men that they will that they shall walk like blind men.
Because guess what? They ain't going to know where, where they're going to go. They ain't going to know what's happening with them. You know, the only thing that's going to uh, be a guide to us that's not going to blind us is having that oil. As the Apostle Gabar always say, that oil in the owl's eyes allows them to see at night. So as people ain't going to be able to see in these dark days, we will be able to see what's happening. We will know that, oh, this is the coming of the Lord. This is prophecy. This is what's being fulfilled. Because that's what the men of the Lord would say back then when things would happen. They would say, oh, this is this scripture happening. Because they have sinned against the Lord. And their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Now, that's the judgment that's going to happen on two thirds. But you, uh, once again, on the men of the Lord, us, us as well, some of us will be put to death, right? Some of us will be uh, go through, get cast into prisons, right? Some, you know, these are the things that the scriptures speak of. You know, I'm talking in, a, in its entirety, not just focusing on verse 17, you know, on this area saying we, we, we you know, the uh, elect men actually fit this because this is not necessarily keying in on the elect men because the elect men won't be blind. They will see what, what will be going on. But nevertheless, these dark days and these tough times to come, we will feel the stress. We will have to be as pilgrims. We will, okay, uh, go through um, different set forth. I mean, King David went through it. You know, all the greats went through it. Every great man went through went through some trials, you know? And it wasn't really comfortable, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord dealt with them. The Lord fed that he he had he put spirits on people to make beds for him. He had he had different uh 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 uh, uh, uh different ways of uh, sustaining King David, you know, through his troubles, and that's gonna happen with us. And he even raised Yahweh from the dead, man, on the third day. So even the brothers who do uh say get put to death, it said that they shall rise first. So it ain't like you getting played, but more or less. We got to know that, guess what? That's what's, that's what's, that's what's to come. It said, neither, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them. Yeah, so the whole thing with the money, that shit ain't going to deliver nobody. That's what the Most High said. No matter what, how much money you got, that ain't going to get you out this, these times. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. <laughs> Hey, when that trouble come down, man, it is the scripture saying Daniel's gonna be as a time never seen before. So how could you prepare? What do you go and get? What do you do for a time never seen before? You trust in your how by Shem Yahweh who's bringing that time on. You trust in him. You call upon him who's bringing this this thing never seen before because he made it. He seen it. He know the ins and outs of it. It says, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. Right. Hey, the, hey, the most high gonna burn this place up. He gonna be, he gonna be hot. Niggas is into all types of shit in this society. People will be war worshiping demons and devils. Worshiping these artists who be singing about demonic activity. All the symbolisms and, on, on different things, just it, it, it you know. All the, all, the, all the logos out there goes back to left hand, left hand shit, left hand stuff. You know, this whole system is built up on idolatry. This is why it's Babylon the Great. It promotes poison. It promotes uh, 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 child um, molestation, child um, pedophilia. This society is wicked, man. This society is wicked, man. It's wicked. See, the most size where he brings his judgment down, these see, he gotta crush this place. It gotta be, it gotta be crushed. And it gotta be thrown in a incinerator. It gotta be thrown in a incinerator, not recycled. We don't want to see this reused again. This society cannot be used again. It has to be, there, you know. Recycling in society, you know, this shit been recycled for, 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 for too long. This shit got Egypt in it, Babylon in it, media per it got every damn empire in it. it. No, no more recycling with this. It gotta just get burnt with the fire now. It gotta get incinerated. 
Nobody got to reuse this. No, no, no. We ain't reusing the style of Egypt. It got sodomy in it. It got, it got all of that stuff in it, man. How will we to do with this? How are you to raise a family here? How are you to dwell here? The food you eat is all jacked up. Super gonorrhea. So the most high wrath is needed. Because it's going to bust this place down. To the smallest atom. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be, be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. And that got to be keyed in on. Because this society is all about the money. All about the, all about the, all about the money. This society is all about the money. Most high said that money ain't going to deliver y'all. So what next? But you got time to get it right. We got time to get it right. We got time to get it right. You got time to get it right. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire, fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance. You know, which haste goes back to speed. He gonna make a speedy riddance. So are we hastening that? Because we tired of seeing our people be homosexuals. We tired of dealing with the uh, the, the the flesh and the flesh uh, fighting against the spirit. We tired of seeing our people in a low estate. We tired of eating fake foods. We tired of eat, breathing in whatever the hell we breathing in. Who knows? Borium, whatever they spraying in the chemtrails. We tired of seeing our kids just not even being able to be children. They all heaped up to the damn computers. Their childhood sucks. We tired of seeing a woman out of order. We tired of seeing the animals suffer. We tired of seeing the, our, our people got to be folly. Folly got to be set in great dignity, a good laugh. We tired of our people always trying to be with the money bazaar, with the money bazaar. We tired of this shit, man. This shit got to go, man. It's it's it got to go. It's the same it's the same concept. It got to go. It got to have it got to have and that's what the spirit of most are putting on the spirit of our people they're being into the uh, 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 they getting more into his truth. Having faith, praying. All right? Brothers have been growing out their beards, all right? A lot of jakes in the league, you know, they got, they, they got their beards. You got brothers that's into the incense, you know? Jake don't know why they doing some of the things they do. Like, you got Kyrie Irving, he be burning the sage. He, you know, he grows out his beard. But, you know, he's into that. He, he, he's into, chem he's confused. He's real confused, but more or less... That spirit is start. Uh, Jake is into the uh, get tapping into the uh, the different gems of the Lord. You know the topaz, the jasper, the sapphire, the emeralds. You know they're tapping into that vibration. Like I said once again, they not all the way fully according to knowledge though, because you know you got a lot of them people that are tapping to those different healings of the crystals, but they they be into the whole other shit. You know what I'm saying? But more or less. You know, before the rocks our people was tapping into was a crack rock. So that's a big jump to go from hopping on crack rocks, you know, into a topaz rock or a jasper rock around your neck, you know, or in your pocket or on your wrist, you know. So in our, a lot of our people is pulling away from Esau and his system in general. You know, they're not really working for it, the, 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 the system. But we know once again our people they want to establish a society of a, a, a society out of their society but in their society <laughs> so to mean because you still got to use their money and this is their land but you know jake want to have their own but all together the most high already got the plan for that and the blueprint is that it's going to get burnt up and, and that the lord is going to deliver the elect and then we're going to have a society set up not according to the society far from it in Israel And there we shall thrive Blessings upon blessings You know as it says in Deuteronomy chapter 1 uh, 28 verse Chapter 28 verse 1 through 14 Your storehouses Everything gonna be rocking Everything gonna be good 
You just always gonna get blessings. Here, you get 18 year old running around with a machete, chop a woman up. You know, no fucking, no reason. A seven year old in Atlanta, Georgia, get, get shot. You got this shit happening all over the world. This whole society is wicked. You got some places that's better than others, but nevertheless, it's all wicked, man. And we in a time where, where we seeing a prophecy unfold and the Lord has been showing his hand and all of these articles coming out, they're like overwhelming articles coming out. <laughs> so much activity going on. It's best is to haste it, like, like the apostle said through the spirit For the day of the coming of our Lord And to have that mind frame Of just getting everything set in the kingdom We do what we do here But if our aim gonna be anything You might as well set it to the kingdom We right there Can't say we ain't there People you can't say yeah another 20 years from now You can't even say talk like that you can't even talk like that. Where they at with technology right now and the, the moves that they making. They got the stuff to bring out to unroll and unleash already. They just perfecting the platform. And what they want to do is create the scenario because it says in Revelations 13 and 16, he calls it for. So how has he got to do it? He has to create the scenario. The devil Esau was a cunning hunter. You know, sometimes you don't got to just go out and stuff. Sometimes you want to, sometimes he want to set up the trap that you walk into it. So that's what he doing. That's what he has been doing. You know, so Lord's will, this was edifying, you know, just in through the spirit, man. Just, this is just through the spirit, just got off work. You know, just trying to tap in through the spirit, man. Uh, the spirit and power. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Rakak with Dush. Um, but haste, man. Okay, I thought, hey, I know that one of the brothers got a, uh, uh, they, uh, um, YouTube channel was hasting the day. I, I was seeing if that was, uh, uh, the actual, uh, Scripture, you know what? Second Peter three and twelve just, 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 just popped up. Looking forward and hasting unto the coming of the day of our Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So we know the process of that is the chip being established, the World War Three. You know the the, the trial upon the elect. The, you know Jacob's trouble. You know it's going to be hard times. So what I'm prophesying and, and or mentioning, you know, through the spirit and going to certain scriptures about is what's written to happen. You know, could read Matthews 24 because that's what's to happen to the elect men, you know, which is going to be an ill situation. It ain't going to be a fun situation. And that, that's not that's not what you would consider a fun situation. You know, it's going to be an ill situation. It's going to be a tough situation, you know, but nevertheless, if you're part of the elect, you're going, you're going to get through it. So it's nothing to fear. It's nothing to be like, oh, damn, man, I got to go through this. No, it's something that you look forward more. You pray more and you you uh, read the scriptures on how the Lord will, how the Lord did deliver the men of old. Sirach 2 and 10. That's why it's good to tap back into those ways to stir up your remembrance and your ways to see how the Lord uh, dealt with dealt with great men. But know that great men was always put to that trial and that test. Looking for looking for an hasten into the coming of the day of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So remember, it just said the day of the Lord is with wrath. The day of the Lord is darkness. The day of the Lord is gloominess. So when you're looking for that, you gotta look for what? Bad times. Fuck. <laughs> you gotta look for bad times. Not that everything gonna be good for you. You gotta look that everything's gonna be bad. Fuck, I ain't gonna, we can't just sit here and lie. We got to say, it's going to be bad. <laughs> Ain't going to be nothing nice. But once again, you're going to have the angels stand up, the great prince. So it is going to be, we in beautiful times, nevertheless. Because this is what all the prophets look for. When is the Lord going to return? 
But know that it's going to be a bad situation out here for the Lord to return, to redeem you. Shit, when, 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 don't you need to call somebody when you in a jam? Most I ain't just going to come for no reason. That's like the dudes who used to, the old gang, gangster dudes on the block. Yo, bro, don't call me unless it's, you know, because you all want to come through, bro. When it, call me when it's really when it's really about the action because I'm not just coming around to talk. That's how it is with the most high. The most high ain't going to, no, the most high, when he, listen, it got to be a situation because that's what he coming for. So when he, because he coming, he ain't talking. He, 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 he devouring stuff, man. Looking for and hastening to the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So that's what, that's, that's, that's what it is. And that's what it says to look for. You know, your mind should be looking forward to that. That's where your cap should be at. You know, your think tank brain should be the vision of, all right, I got to, you know, this day of doom. All right, shit getting bad. Because that's when the Lord going to return. And, you know, he going to melt this stuff with fervor. He going to purge this place out. God like said, man, it ain't going to be recycled no more. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth. And that's the area where you're going to do good at. That's where you're going to settle. Ain't nowhere else you're going to settle. This is where you're going to settle. This is where you're going to raise your family. This is where you're going to be, where you're going to finally be special. You ain't special here. You ain't special to your kids. You ain't special to your woman. You ain't special to nobody. You special to the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shadow, but you ain't special to nobody else. Because if, if you were special to everybody, they would treat you as such. And treat you as such. The Lord ain't even special to people here. They worship other gods. They, the Lord haven't even got his glory yet. They, just don't even, they ain't even bowing down. They ain't even respecting. They can just swing on a Bible. They got white images of him. That's total disrespect. That's blasphemy. They could read that he got a dark image, but they'll make a whole blue eye. That's some vile. That's vile, bro. That's no. That's straight disrespect. You know, but the elect. Has respect unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein what? Dwelleth righteousness. Alright? So this place ain't gonna get recycled because this shit all had kinks of wickedness always in it. I mean, we gotta get melt, burnt out, and then this place gonna be established where it's gonna be righteousness, man. You see? And that's what we hoping in. All right. Well, like I said, the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord. I think it's in Second Thessalonians. OK, um. Amos 5 and 18 Warn to you that desire the day of the Lord To what end is it for you The day of the Lord is darkness and not light <laughs> So once again And it's not saying uh, for us not to hasten the day That's to those people who 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 say You know uh, Cause you got people out there in the, in the churches Who think that It's gonna be peaches and cream when the Lord return They don't, they don't have the understanding You know that when the Lord return He's returning with destruction. It's going to be mayhem out here. It's going to be judgment being done. You know? It's going to be straight judgment being done. All right? And it's going to be darkness and not light. Apparations. Spirits. Spirits is going to be being shown in that day. So how, you know, there's no... Your kids going to be... They going to be scared shitless. Everybody going to be scared. You know? They, uh, the apparitions alone is going to woo. When the Lord unleashed that Like he did in Egypt Forget about it man People are going to People are there, 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 there That's why I say a day never seen Their minds ain't prepared for that man They ain't prepared for that man For the spirits to be showing themselves Apparitions See, the Lord is darkness and not light. That's when they're going to know, wow, they're going to know the Lord. They're going to have fear, you know? So, nevertheless, man, may the Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai, 
by Shimrakak with Dush. Continue with grace and mercy upon you, Akiam, you Akwaf out there. Those who labor in this truth with sincerity. All right. Continue to uh, push. Continue to pray. Continue to fast. You know, through the spirit. Through the spirit. You know, may the Lord continue to, you know, continue to deal with us. All right. With that being said, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah, Kodesh. And double honors to the apostles of GMS. And salutations once again. Shalom.